Alex, how do you guys challenge yourselves when it's going this well? I think we just got to stick to the process. And I mean, as well as we're playing at times, there's always things that we can build off of and we know that we can get better. And it's such a long season that you're going to go through stretches where you win games and stretches where it's not going as well. And you just got to kind of stick to the day to day process and going about your business and trying to get better. And um, yeah, it's it's a grind of a season. We know that. And um, that's kind of our focus. Like the most about your game of late? Um, yeah, I, I feel confident out there. Um, I think that confidence is big in this in this game, and it's important when when you're out there, you're able to feel like you can make plays. And obviously, playing with good players, um, good things are going to happen. Why do you think you tend to fit in well around skilled guys like John and Liam? I, I don't. I don't have a great answer. I think that um, just played with them before and you get used to that and I mean I feel comfortable playing in different parts of the lineup and I know that my role is going to be that at times where I'm going to play up in the lineup and I'm also going to play down in the lineup and I'm comfortable with that as well so I think that my game my mindset doesn't change but I think that I have the ability in my game to, to play with skilled players as well and I'm used to it and I'm I'm comfortable in those situations which probably helps me. Is there like a similarity when you play with like There's a little bit of playing with good guys where you, you can't there's, at times I think you can be so focused on trying to get them the puck that you can change your game a little bit. I noticed that um, my first couple of years when I was in Colorado and playing with Nate a bit. But um, but yeah, I think there's always a little bit to that. You want to get them the puck because they're usually going to make good plays with it. But at the same time, you have to make the right decision. And, um, and at the end of the day, I, I can't adapt my game depending on who I'm playing with, and that's my main focus. What do you think has allowed the team to turn the results so sharply in, in a good direction from where you were at Pittsburgh and Raleigh those games? Yeah, that's a good question. I think that um, I think that it was just it, it was critical for us to, to, to switch it like that. I think that I don't know the Chicago game wasn't great, but being able, being able to grind out a win there, coming back in overtime, getting that late goal in the third, I think that that really galvanized us as a group, coming back, feeling good, um, and then we kind of took off from there. We weren't playing great hockey even that week after that, but um, yeah, we've put together some really good performances since then. And once you get winning, confidence starts growing with everyone in the group, and you go into games feeling like you're going to win every night and um, it's a good feeling to have and we know that we're not going to win every game but if we stick to the right process we're going to be in most games. And Ben gets the wrong side of 30 and drops off by John Tavares keeps trucking at a pretty high level what what stands out about his ability to remain at that level consistently? Well he puts in all the work I mean you guys know and you see him but he is doing everything he possibly can to make sure that he's um, in perfect shape year in year out does everything throughout the year that you would want someone to do and so it's no secret that um it's been paying off for him and it's no surprise that he's had this much success as he's getting older yeah um i don't know i don't know if that's my style choice but <laughs> I, I guess he it's, it's working for him and um yeah it's a good obviously good good thing for lulu to be doing and um, I've been into a couple of stores and seen a bunch of posters, so it's nice to see that. How'd it go over in the room? Uh, I was, everyone had a good chuckle over it. Yeah. yeah. Is there yeah. something about Dean's system on the PK that, that seems to lead to results? Um, yeah, I think that, I don't know, I think that we've talked about it before, I guess, but I guess our numbers were a little, our underlying numbers, I guess, were a little bit better last year than than our kill rate was. And so maybe there was a little bit of that, but yeah, Dino comes in with a plan and he makes it so that everyone's on the same page. And I think that that's super important. There's no guessing when you're out there, everyone knows what their job is. And um, and yeah, obviously if, with Soupy back there, where we've got a lot of confidence that he's gonna make the save and that's huge on the penalty kill. But no, yeah, we all have a, a plan. We know what we're doing and we're killing with pace right now, which makes it hard on the opposition.